Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to create docs from Google Form responses and share on Slack. So I am an owner of a business and I collect my customers' feedback with the help of form submission. And I have created the form with the help of Google Forms. So here my objective is that, that as soon as I'm going to receive a new response of my form submission by my customers for the feedback of my business with the help of Google Forms, automatically I want to create a conclusion with the help of Google Gemini of the response that we have received. And as soon as the conclusion of the response is going to be created, I want to create a document with the help of Google Docs with the response details and the conclusion that is created with the help of Google Gemini. And as soon as the document is going to be created, I want to send a message on my Slack channel with the attachment of that document that we have created with the help of Google Docs. For that, what we are going to do is, we are going to simply create an automation between all of these applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you want to learn how to do this automation, then let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we're going to learn how to create Google Docs for Google Form submissions with the help of Google Gemini and share it on our Slack channel. So I am an owner of a business and I collect my customers' feedbacks with the help of the form that I've created with the help of Google Forms. So here in this video, my objective is that it, whenever a new form submission is going to be done by any of my customers about the feedback of my service, automatically with the help of the response of our customer, a conclusion of that response should be created with the help of Google Generative AI that is Google Gemini. And as soon as the conclusion is going to be created with the help of the form details as well as the conclusion, a document of customer review should be created in our Google Docs. And how is this document going to be created? For that, I've already created a document template in my Google Docs and with the help of this template, the documents are going to be created. Okay. And as the document is going to be created, I want to share this document as a message on my slack channel so you can see this is the message that i've shared on my slack channel with the attachment of the document right over here so for that what we are going to do is we are going to simply create an automation between all of these applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli Connect, that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign in to our Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign in to my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see the five applications of Pabli from which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on access now. After signing in, you can see the Pabli Connect dashboard is going to appear in front of you on a new tab. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on this top right corner button right over here that says create workflow. Then a new dialog box is going to appear, which is asking for a workflow name. So I'm going to give a name to my workflow as create docs for Google Forms responses and share on Slack. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. After that, it is asking for us to select a folder. On the left side of my screen you can see I have created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I am going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. For that click on this drop down arrow and these are the folders from which I am going to select Google Forms Automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After giving a name to our workflow and selecting the folder let's click on create in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of create docs for Google Forms responses and share on Slack and there are two windows in front of you. One over here says trigger, other says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps for automation process because our process depends on these two concepts over here. Trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger, okay? In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps, okay? Firstly, what we're going to do is, we're going to set up our trigger step for that. Click on this drop down arrow right over here. And for the trigger application over here, we are going to be selecting it as Google Forms. So I'm going to select my trigger application as Google Forms. And for the trigger event as new response received as our objective is that whenever any of my customers are going to fill the customer feedback form and is going to submit the form automatically Pabli Connect should capture the response. And then after selecting the trigger application and the event, you can see Pabli Connect has provided us with a webhook URL. With the help of this unique webhook URL, we are going to connect Google Forms with Pabli Connect. So I'm going to copy this URL from here. 
After copying the URL, you have to follow the steps given here below in the help desk in order to set up the webhook. Okay. So firstly, we need to open the form that we have created with the help of Google Forms. As you can see, this is the form that I've created with the help of Google Forms. As you can see right over here, and I want that whenever any of my customers are going to fill this form right over here, automatically Pabli Connect should capture the response. So we need to connect this form to Pabli Connect. Okay. And how we're we going to do that? For that, you have to click on responses right over here. As soon as you go to click on responses over here. It says link to sheets. We are going to click on it. A new dialog box is going to appear in front of you, which is asking for us to select the destination of responses. I am going to create a new spreadsheet, but if you want, you can select the existing spreadsheet. So I am going to click on create right over here. As soon as you get to do that over here, you can see a new spreadsheet is created with the help of Google Sheets right over here. And this spreadsheet is directly linked to the form that we have created with the help of Google Forms. So that whenever anytime a new response is going to be captured by our form, automatically the response is also going to be recorded in the spreadsheet right over here. So what we are going to do is we are going to connect this spreadsheet with Pabli Connect so that whenever a new response is going to be captured into this sheet right away automatically, Pabli Connect is also going to capture the response. So now what we are going to do is we are going to connect this spreadsheet to Pabli Connect. For that, click on extensions right over here. After click on extensions over here, it says add-ons. We are going to click on it and then on get add-ons right over here. Then a new window is going to appear on which on the search bar, we have to search for Pabli Connect Webbook. So we are going to search for Pabli Connect Webbooks. This is Pabli Connect Webbooks. We're going to open this. Over here it says Pabli Connect Webbooks. We're going to open this and you can see I've already installed Pabli Connect Webbooks. So I'm going to move forward. But if you have not installed Pabli Connect Webbooks, please do install it so you can connect this spreadsheet to Pabli Connect. Okay. So I'm going to move forward. I'm going to click on extensions again. And over here on extensions it says Pabli Connect Webbooks. We're going to select and then we're going to click on initial setup right over here. Okay. As soon as you get to click on initial setup, this window is going to appear, which is asking for a webhook URL. We're going to paste the webhook URL that Pabli Connect has provided us. So I'm going to paste it right over here. Okay. Then over here next, it is asking for us to select a trigger column. It says trigger column will be a final data column on which the data is added. So in this spreadsheet right over here, my final data column is going to be column I. So I'm going to select my trigger column as column I right over here. Okay. Because in the column I, the final data is going to be added. That's why trigger column is going to be column I. And then we're going to click on submit right over here. As soon as we get to do that over here, it says setup configurated successfully. So this means that we successfully added the webhook in the spreadsheet right over here. So I'm going to show you. As you can see, this is my column I and this is the final data column. After that, no data is going to be added. That's why this is my trigger column right away. Okay. So after setting up the webhook, the steps which I'm going to tell you are very important. So please do not forget to follow it. Click on extensions and Pabli Connect webhooks again. And then over here, it says send on event. We're going to select send on event. And as over here, it is saying working. As the loading is completed, I'm going to take you back to extensions and Pabli Connect webhooks again. You can see a tick mark is in front of send on event. This is very important to click on send on event so that whenever a new data entry is going to be created in the spreadsheet right over here, automatically every time the new data is going to be forwarded to Pabli Connect. Okay, that is why it is very important to click on send on event. Okay. So as we successfully connected this spreadsheet to Pabli Connect, if I'm going to take you back to the workflow over here, it is saying waiting for webhook response. So now what we are going to do is we're going to do a test submission of the form that I've we have created with the help of Google Forms and we're going to check whether Pabli Connect captures the response of that form submission or not. For that, I'm going to open my form that I've created. And now we're going to do a test submission of this form. For that, you have to click on this I button that is preview right over here. As soon as you're going to click on it, this is the form that I've created right away, which is asking for the first name, last name, email, phone number, date. Would you recommend us? Yes or no? Services, rating and the remark right over here. So we're going to fill in all the details. Firstly, for the first name over here, I'm going to write it as smart. Then for the last name over here, I'm going to write it as user123. For the email over here, I'm going to write it as smartuser123 at the rate pablitudes.com. For the phone number over here, I'm going to write in a dummy mobile number. For the date over here, I'm going to select the today's date on date which I'm submitting this form right over here, okay? Then over here it says, would you recommend us yes or no? I'm going to select it as yes. For the rating over here, I'm going to give it as 4. And for the remark over here, I'm going to write in a dummy remark. So for the remark over here, I've written it as good service on time, amazing results and cost effective, okay? So after filling all the details over here, I'm going to click on submit to do a test submission. As you can see over here, it says response has been recorded. So now I'm going to open my spreadsheet that I've created that is connected connected to this form right over here and as you can see in the spreadsheet right over here, the record of the new response is successfully created as you can see right away it has all the details for the name as smart last name user 123 email as smart user 123 at the rate for the phone number the mobile number date as 25 05 2024 
for the recom- recommended us as yes for the rating as four and the remark right over here so now i'm going to open a workflow that i've created in pabli connect and i'm going to check whether pabli connect has captured the response of this form submission or not for that i'm going to open my workflow i'm going to scroll down and yes as you can see right over here the response in our pabli connect is successfully captured if you go to tally the response for a video recommend us as yes right over here for the service rating as four right over here for the remark the remark that we have added in the form submission for the phone number dummy mobile number first name smart last name user 123 email smart user 123 at the rate publitudes.com for the date as 525 2024 so this means that we successfully connected google forms with pabli connect and a trigger setup is done as we want that whenever a new form submission is going to be done with the help of google generative ai that is google gemini the summary of our form should be created so now what we are going to do is we are going to add another action step and for the action application over here we are going to select it as google generative ai that is google gemini so i'm going to select my action application as google generative ai and for the action event as generate content and then we're going to click on connect a new window is going to appear on which click on add new connection but if you want you can select the existing connection after that where it is asking for the api key from where we're going to have the api key for that click on this hyperlink google ai studio right over here as soon as you go to click on it over here it says get api key we're going to click on it as soon as you go to click on get api key over here it says create api key we're going to click on it Oh, it is asking for us to select a project, so I'm going to select a project right over here, and I'm going to click on generate. Over here, API key is generated. I'm going to copy this API key from here, and I'm going to paste the API key right over here. Okay, so I'm going to close my Google AI Studio, and then I'm going to click on save right over here. As you can see that we successfully connected Google Generative AI, that is Google Gemini to Pabli Connect. Okay, over here it is asking for the text that we want to create a content for. For the text over here, I'm going to write it as. So this is my text right over here, and it says I am an owner of a business that is Dream Frame is the name of my company, and I am collecting customers' feedback for my business using Google Form submissions. And in the submission, I got I got the review as for the first question as Would you recommend us yes or no? And the answer of the question is next to is right over here as I want the answer of my question of the response that we have received. So what we are going to do is we are going to map the data. Mapping means inserting data from the previous step so we are going to insert the data from the previous step of our automation process how are we going to do that as soon as you go to click on this field over here it says google form new response received and as you go to click on this arrow right over here this was the response that was captured in our previous step as over here the first question is would you recommend us yes or no i'm going to map the data of the answer of this question that is right over here okay as i map the data right over here what happens is the data has now become dynamic that means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step automatically the data right over here in place of this map data is going to be updated okay next over here it says next question is service rating out of 5 and the answer is for the answer of this question i'm going to map the data over here so this is the service rating i'm going to map the data okay Last Last question is remark and answer. Remark and the answer is the answer of the remark. We're going to map the data again. This is the remark answer. I'm going to map the data. It says so. I want the conclusion of this feedback briefly explained. So this is the text that I want to have the content generated for. After the text over here, it is asking for the model. So for the model over here, we're going to select it as model slash Gemini Pro. Okay. And next over here it is asking for the method. Method for the method we're going to select as generate content because we want to generate the content of this text right over here. And now we're going to click on save and send test request. As soon as you get to do that, what happens is over here the response is received, and over here we have received the summary of the response. As you can see, this is the summary right over here. So these were the questions, and this is the conclusion answer, which says this feedback suggests that the customer had a very positive experience in Dream Frame. This is the company's name. They were particularly impressed with the quality of the service, timelessness, and value of the money. Additionally, they are willing to recommend Dream Frame to others, indicating a high level of satisfaction. So this is the content that has been generated. Okay, and over here, these are the other details right over here. So this means that we fully generated the content, the conclusion of the form submission that was done with the help of Google Gemini. Okay, so as we have done that, as we want that, as the content is going to be generated, I want to create the document of this form submission. So how are we going to do that? I've already told you that I have created a template with the help of Google Docs for the form submission as you can see right over here. So what we are going to do is we're going to add another action step in this workflow by clicking on this button right over here. And for the action application over here, I'm going to select it as Google Docs. So for the action application over here, I'm going to select it as Google Docs. 
and for the action event as create document from template and then we are going to click on connect right over here and as I have the existing connection I am going to select this option but if you want you can add a new connection and I am going to click on save right over here. As soon as you get to do that over here it is asking for the template document with the help of which template are we going to create the document. So I have created a template in the name of customer review right over here. For the template document I am going to select it as customer review right over here. So, so I am going to take you back to my template. So this is a template of my customer review right over here. This is a template that I have created with the help of Google Docs. And in this template over here you can see in front of some values and in the end of some values there are two girly brackets. So these are the variables right over here. And I want to add the data of my customer responses and the content that has been generated with the help of Google Gemini in place of these variables right over here. That is why I have created this template with the variables right over here. Okay. So if I am going to take you back to my workflow it is asking for the new document name whenever a document is going to be created with the help of this template I want to give the name of all those documents as I want the name of my documents to be starting with my customers name so I'm going to map the data of my customers name first name space the last name right over here and I want it as colon customer review so this is the name of my document that is going to be the name of my customer who have done the form submission call colon the customer review okay next it is asking for the new documents location so I've created a folder in my Google Drive so that whenever a new document is going to be created with the help of the template automatically all the documents are going to be saved in this location right over here so for the new documents location I'm going to select it as customer reviews documents right over here next it is asking for the first name last name email phone number date yes no rating remark and the content Conclusion, okay so in my document I've already told you that I've created some variables so these are the same variables right over here and what we're going to do in place of these variables we're going to map the data for the first name we're going to map the data for the first name of our customer we're going to map the data for the last name for the email we're going to map the data of the email of our customer for the phone number we're going to map the data of the phone number for the date over here we're going to map the data of the date right over here for the yes or no question we're going to map the data of the answer for the rating over here, we are going to map the data of the answer that we have received. For the remark, we are going to map the data of the remark. So this is the remark right over here. And lastly, for the conclusion, we are going to map the data of the content that has been generated with the help of Google Gemini. As you can see, this is the content that I have mapped right over here. Okay. After filling all the details, we are going to click on Save and Send Test Request. After clicking on save and send test request over here response is received and the response that we have received is a positive response because in this response we've also received a document ID. So if I'm going to open my Google Drive folder as you can see right over here a new document is created. I'm going to open this document right over here. So as you can see right over here a new document is created in the name of smart user 123 customer review and this is a document right over here. It has the details of the review that was submitted to us by our customers as you can see right over here for the name as smart last name as user123 email as smartuser123 at the rate pablitudes.com for the phone number dummy mobile number for the date as 25.05.2024 for would you recommend us as a yes for overall of rating as 4 additional remark over here the remark for the conclusion the conclusion that was created with the help of Google Gemini so this means that we fully created a document with the help of the template in our Google Docs of our customer review and as in this document top right corner it says private to only me but I want to share this document as a message on my slack channel to all of my employees so what we have to do is we have to make this document accessible to everyone for that what we are going to do is we're going to add in the action step in this workflow right over here and for the action application over here we are going to select it as Google Drive and for the action event as share a file with anyone and then we're going to click on connect as I have the existing connection I'm going to select this option but if you want you can add a new connection and then click on save right over here as over here it is asking for the file ID the file that you want to make accessible to everyone for the file ID right away we're going to map the data of the document ID that we have received in our previous step for mapping the data we have to turn on this map bracket right over here and we have to erase this existing data from here and we are going to map the data of the document ID that we have received in our previous step because this is the ID of the document that has been created with the help of Google Docs. Okay. And then we are going to click on save and send test request. As soon as you get to do that over here response is received in the response it says anyone with the link. If I'm going to open the document again over here on the top right corner now it is saying anyone with the link. That means now, now anyone can have the access of this document with the help of a link. So if I'm going to take you back to the response over here below the response have many links provided to us of the document. And in this response we have also received a PDF form of the document as you can see right over here. And we're going to be using this link that is the PDF format of our document right over here to send a message on our Slack channel. As 
as a document is now accessible to everyone and we want to send a message on a slack channel for that we go to add our action step right over here and for the action application over here we are going to select it as slack and for the action event as send channel message and then we're going to click on connect a new window is going to appear on which click on add new connection after click on add new connection over here it says connect with slack we're going to click on it over here it is asking for the type for the type over here i'm going to select it as bot if you want you can select a type as user okay and then we're going to click on save right over here then a new window is going to appear which is asking for a permission i'm going to click on allow as a safe process and my data is perfectly safe with pabli connect so i'm going to click on allow right over here as you can see that we fully authorize slack to pabli connect next over here it is asking for us to select a channel on which channel do we want to send a message to so i've created a channel in my slack account in the name of customer reviews right over here so that whenever a new review is going to be added by a customer automatically all the messages with the document should be shared in this channel right over here so the channel over here we are going to select it as customer review so i'm going to select my channel as customer reviews and then over here it is asking for the message the message that we want to send to our customers for the message over here i'm going to write it as so as you can see this is the message that i want to send to my slack channel right over it says hi team i hope you are doing well i wanted to share some details recent customer reviews that we have received please find the detailed document attached customer information first name last name email contact name and the date oh it says for more details additional reviews please refer to the attached document the document id the document link should be here let's continue to strive for excellence and keep up the great work thank you best regards team dream frame okay so over here for the details of our customer what we are going to do is we're going to map the data so i'm going to map the date of the response that we have received for the first name as right over here next it is asking for the last name for the last name for the email we're going to map the date of the email for the contact number that is the phone number we're going to map the data for the date over here we're going to map the data right over here Next, it is asking for the link. We are going to map the date of the link. That is the PDF format link that we have received in our previous step right over here. Okay, so this is the message that I want to send right over here. And after that, it is asking for all these details. I am going to skip the part as I don't require the step over here. Okay. After filling all the details, I am going to click on Save and Send Test Request. As soon as you go to do that over here, the response is going to be received. Now we go to open our Slack channel. We go to check whether a new message is forwarded on my Slack channel of the customer review and the document of the customer review or not. For that, I'm going to open my Slack channel. And yes, as you can see right over here, a new message is forwarded on my Slack channel for the information of my customer as smart for the last name as user one two three email smart user one two three at the rate publicitude dot com for the phone number the mobile number date as five twenty five twenty twenty four and for the over here you can see a document is attached. I'm going to open this document from here and as you can see a document is downloaded i'm going to open this the name of the document is smart user 123 customer review right over here and it's in a pdf format as you can see right over here and this is the customer review right over here in pdf format as you can see for the smart user as you can see right over here with the overall experience of our that is the review of our customer with the conclusion that was generated with the help of google gemini so this means that we successfully created an automation between all of these applications with the help of pabli connect but now for if you guys what i'm going to do is i'm going to do another form submission with the help of google forms and i'm going to check whether a new message is forwarded on my slack channel with the document of the customer review or not for that i'm going to do another form submission so this is the form that i've created with the help of google forms and now to do a form submission you have to click on this preview button right over here so this is the form that i've created it is asking for all these details so i'm going to fill in all the details right over here as you can see right away i filled in all the details for the first name as demo last name as account email as demo account at the rate pabletudes.com for the phone number the mobile number date today's date for the recommended us as yes for the ratings at five remark as everything was amazing my experience with this company is outstanding okay so after filling all the details i'm going to click on submit to do a test submission over it says the response has been recorded so now i'm going to open my slack channel and i'm going to check whether a new message of the customer review that we have done right now with the attachment of a document is forward on my slack channel or not for that i'm going to open my slack channel right over here and yes as you can see right over here new message is forward on my slack channel for the first name as demo last name as account email as demo account at the rate pabdudes.com for the phone number the dummy mobile number for the date as 525 2024 with the attachment of a document i'm going to open this document from here a new document is then going to be downloaded in your system i'm going to open this document over here you can see that a new document is created for demo account customer review it's in a pdf format as you can see 
right over here over here it has the details of the customer right over here with the conclusion over here as customer is highly satisfied with dream frame services providing five star rating and recommending this business they specifically highlight the exceptional experience they had describing it outstanding and amazing so this means that we successfully created an automation between all of these applications with the help of pabli connect so now what we are going to do is we are going to sum up till now what we have done i am an owner of a business and i collect my customers reviews with the help of form submission that i've created with the help of google forms so my objective is that that whenever a new response is going to be received to me with the help of the form submission with the help of google forms automatically with the help of the response data of the customer reviews a content that is a conclusion of that response should be created with the help of google gemini and as a conclusion is going to be created with the help of google generative ai that is google gemini automatically a document should be created with the help of the responses of our google form submission as well as the conclusion that is the content that is generated with the help of google generative ai that is google gemini and as soon as a document is going to be created i want to share it as a message on my slack channel with the attachment of a document and the response details for that what we have done is we have simply created an automation between all of these applications with the help of public connect and this is how we create this amazing automation so if you like this video please do subscribe to our channel hit on the like button comment down below if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video not just with these applications you can create automation with the help of public connect between multiple applications if you have any doubts you can send us email on support at the rate public.com if you have any queries you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com if you have any queries regarding the pricing of pabli connect then you can check out this link if you like this video please subscribe to our channel hit on the like button comment down below if you have any questions and doubts and please share this video and thank you for watching